Yeah, it's... You have to wonder sometimes, too, is there really a fine? Yeah. They didn't mention the amount, Bill. What well, you don't know what they're telling the public. Well, but it's not a fine anyway, because it's just a cost of doing business. It is, yeah. That's it's all. It's not really a fine anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they... they, they, they they're telling us, all oh, they're being fined a billion dollars when it's just one service to the public, and they actually could come down to nothing. Who knows? Yeah. What, just because they tell them it's public and printed or reported as on the news does not mean it is so. It could be lip service. We yeah. talked last week about the uh, number of murders being published or told to the public that crime was going down, I believe it was in Chicago, and actually went up. Yeah. But they wanted to allay the public's fears, so they printed false numbers. Right. So it was just a can of flood of dollar sign. Yeah. Well, Halliburton, just like Goldman Sachs, okay, nobody will see the inside of a prison cell, but of course if you protest any of these corporations, you'll get arrested. So, you know, it's funny how this... Well, just like in, you know, along the same lines, different rules, and setting people, using people to set examples, it's wrong. This poor lady, I forget, I believe it's in Florida or whatever, and she ground law, she fired a warning shot past her husband into the wall. She said, for 20 years. Uh, Please, let's be real here, people. Right. So, she but, years, okay. Yeah. She could have killed the guy. She fired a warning shot. I don't understand. She won't stay long in prison. I'm sure. The public is having a huge outcry. The press is as well. They're, they've got to realize this is wrong. You don't yeah. do this. Yeah. Where, you know, so. where is your location now, uh, Sir William? Right now, I'm still in New Jersey. I went nowhere. This Okay, that's good. Uh, well, you know, we, 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 you know, of course, we always look forward to see you back at the Newsletter Censored Research Center. Um, now, um, you, uh, you have something special to say about the, our newsletter, founded in 1977. I'm sure that's the best way to enjoy and join your organization is to go to www.newslettercensored.com get your free annual subscription with your gift to support this work. We're living people in end times, so you need newsletter censored. And let's hope they respond well. Yes. Oh, yes. And and, and just go to newslettercensored.com and get your subscription yeah, to support this work. Now, uh, we were reading, um, a Bill was uh, uh, started a reading about um, how the um, the Republicans want to make people who are collecting social services uh, they want to make it tougher for them to uh, to find a job and my question was where the hell are all these jobs for the poor people to get? <laughs> well, and if they are jobs, what level of jobs? I mean, jobs are paying up if they pay rent or mortgage and what have you. Are you talking minimum wage? If that's the case, it's likely above. You can't realize it. It's going to be hard to pay rent for some of work. Yeah. You know, when they say jobs, you know, that's such a job. Get a job. Well, that's so widespread of a term. You well, know, a job. Well, he, he, I, Paying how much? Let's put dollar signs on this so-called job. What kind of job? Are they speaking of? Yeah. Just to go to work, get a few dollars, and especially now if you look at the grocery chains, for example, they will not hire anybody full time anymore. Why? They don't want to pay for benefits. Now you tell me, is that a true job? Will that pay for a rent? For a rental? No, it won't. Well they then, what's all this talk about jobs? And creation? and they don't want to hire companies. Don't want to hire entry level. Uh, people fresh out of school, they want they want to hire somebody. Yeah, let me interrupt you on that one too. You're right. They also don't want to hire you if you're too old. So where do we draw the line here? Or you're over you're too young. Or, or you're old. Somebody with experience. You're too old. Oh, you've got great experience, but you're too old. What do they really want? Yeah. I don't or, think they really even know. Or you're overqualified. You're or, or you're, you're too. You're right. Or you're overqualified. You're too That's good. Another term. They don't want to pay. They don't want to pay somebody who's really good and experienced and educated. Everything seems to be a game. Don't forget to get a job. Yeah. Job is a vague term. 
Yeah, they always say that. Even if they raise the minimum wage to a, a, from $7 and change to $11 in change, you still can't afford the rents. Yeah, you know. If it was raised to $20, could it pay today's rents? Think about that. Yeah, then there's utilities, you know. And right. $20 if you get a 40 hour work week is 800 Out of that comes your fees and all that and other taxes, too. At what's left, maybe six something, give or take. Very few places I know where you can get an apartment for 600 some odd dollars. In that case, taking all your money anyway, you have no disposable income, which is what stimulates the economy. Right. Well, let's talk about jobs. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It really is. You, know, you, you have utilities. Great jobs. Good jobs. Well, it's not just the rent. Jobs. It's utility, food, utilities, food, and... Uh, uh, um, the intangibles. Car. An automotive law, car breakdown, insurance, go for your car. Things that just... Everything that comes in seems to be sucked out of people. Well, the uh, it's, it's so hard to have disposable income, it seems like, nowadays. Yeah, well, what I mean is play money where you can have yeah. fun and a little bit of money to do things and enjoy yourselves. Yeah, surplus cash, yeah. There isn't much of that anymore. Well, like. the Republicans don't really want the social pro programs to bring people out of poverty. They, they're, they're almost like designed to fail. They're, 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 they have a self-sabotage. Well, why do they want to hold people down? Why do they want to hurt people? We, meaning us, people, we, and they are too. We're all people. They don't care. Why do you want to hold the populace down? Because they want to enslave the populace eventually. Why? Because they're greedy. And it, it, for it, what? They need to eat more? Well, I'm suck sure out their resources. That's fine. I'm sure they, their housing for them is very, very beyond comfortable. It's luxurious, I would imagine. Yeah. Well, they, what more do they want? They, they made a statement recently. Well, they made it more than recently. Uh, they said that... Um, that the masses, the, the low income mainstream masses and the middle class are sucking up and using their their natural resources of the planet Earth. Why is it theirs? Because they're elitists and they're, they're rich. They, they assume well, it's theirs. You go out of this country, you look how many, uh, I think it's thousands of acres daily of rainforest being ruined. What if some people are stopped to that? That just would destroy anything, everything. Uh, if we destroy. Well, you can see the weather changing. You destroy enough, money won't matter anymore. We'll have everything so ruined. Yeah. We'll have no economic system, no ecosystem. Even for yeah. Today. Aren't? Isn't there still we'll a? Destroying. Hey, Billy, isn't there still a drought going on in Middle America with the with the farms? This country it doesn't get over that easily. You've yeah. got to remember too, and I'm sure most, well, not everybody, but a lot of people realize every day you don't have rain. That water doesn't just sit there; it evaporates. Yeah. It's slowly. You can't sit. I, but right. it's slowly evaporating. It's not being replenished. Right. Where's it going? It's not just <clears throat> sitting there, stagnating. And because it's evaporating. and because of Monsanto's uh, chemical uh, uh, pesticides, the bee population is dying off. And once the bees are gone, our food supply is gone. Well, everything works together. And yeah. Bees are very important to the crop. The problem is the pollen, the royal jelly, and all that thing. Well, it's just pollination, you know. I mean. Yeah. It just does not spoil or rot. It doesn't spoil. Uh, bee, bee products. Propolis, royal jelly, bee pollen. Royal jelly and uh, bee pollen. Yes. Yeah. Spirulina. Spirulina was voted that, to have the most antioxidants than any other food on the planet. Well, those three basic green products. I think we discussed those a few days ago. We had the spirulina, the chlorella, chlorella. and kelp. Are yes. Are very, very critical to, to yeah. people's lives, but I don't think people are aware of that. They're no. very, very good for the human. They're very, th there's many uneducated people, all the Joe Six Packs, they go to ShopRite, they, they don't know about about organic foods, about uh, super nutrient, uh, high nutrient for density nutrient, foods. And then again, you also have to wonder, what can we believe about some of the super nutrients? A lot of them are being found out not to be so good after all, like echinacea does not prevent colds or what have you. Yeah, but wait. Vitamin e does not prevent like but, but, but Billy, you got to look at the source that that's saying this. you got to beware well, of the sources. But you've got to wonder. 
They know? could they could be shills for the pharmaceutical industry. It could be. It could maybe not be too. Wouldn't it be nice to know the absolute honest truth? <laughs> Will we ever? Well, I believe they are shills. And they're they're the big yeah, farmers told, out there. You're being told one thing, and another group tells you another thing. This like, this. This guy, Dr. Offit, that, uh, that, that wrote a book that nutritional supplements are worthless, this guy is, is obviously a shill for Big Pharma and, and the U.S. food industry. Well, but then by the same token, a good friend of mine, he built a lot of Abbott laboratories. His next door neighbor was a creator back in the 80s of the melatonin craze. He wrote a lot of books about Puts it. Puts me to sleep. <laughs> he told my friend, uh, you met him way back. You remember Les? Yes, I remember less. He told, he told him, uh, well, told this BS. Well, how come it oh, puts me to I sleep? Guess, I guess creators. Because it does nothing. And I'm making a fortune on all these books and selling the other the caps. But melatonin is a naturally occurring hormone in the human body. That part is, yeah, but his pills and all that, and he said, really, it's just unnecessary. Uh, I, 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 I have to side with, uh, the anti-corporate view, but, uh, uh, oh, Bill, you 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 were going to talk about. Um, we had a meeting the other day, and you you wanted to talk about what makes a true leader compared to other people that are not leaders. Well, qualities and things like that. We discussed. Remember what? Remember, I looked, I looked across the table and said to me, "Really, what does make a true leader? Not just having a title and barking out orders and threatening you. I'll fire you if you don't do what I tell you." And, uh, you know, it's getting have they trust in you they want to follow you and listen to you be guided by you a true leader when I was with a company back in my early 20s I was in management uh, we had a deal our union was very powerful their union the men was very powerful my men went against their own union and told their union stop what you're doing they said we're they said, Billy, meaning me, Billy's right. He tells it like it is. He doesn't lie to us. They, because why? They had faith in me and tr they trusted me. Well, and not a good reason to, because I don't lie to you. I told yeah. the way things were, what had to be done. And we had bosses above us, and you know, the men sometimes, do this, blah, 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 you got to do this. And with the men, you know, men have a right to question. Women do, obviously, people. I'm not men, I'm being humans. Uh, when they question, why do I have to do this? Because I'm the boss, that's why. Mm. Well, that's not an answer. No. I would sit them down and explain to them how things work within this organization and what needs to get done. And, you know, well, they said, yeah. nobody ever explained it to me before. A true leader is thank you, Billy. A true leader is respected, as well as being having uh, the char the charisma to give effective public speaking. But they they have to be respected and they have to. They have to actually improve the company. Like we were talking about products that where people are willing to spend more money to get because of their reputation, like Auric. The Auric well, products. You spend more if you're getting a better product. Like at a restaurant, you're willing to spend more if you're getting a better quality meal. Or cars. Could be a car, like Honda's reputation. Sure. Mercedes. You um, spend more if they're getting more for their dollar or a better product. Yeah. Reputation, the reputation of, of, you know, not just listening to some windbag, you know, gas bag uh, that likes to hear himself talk, but actually somebody who is improving the company by putting out high quality products that do not break down anytime soon. Well, you're, you're right. And it's also nice when you hear or meet people that bought so and so's product or products and said it's even better than what they said on their infomercial or commercial, what have you. Because it goes beyond the, the commercial. It's the yeah. best thing I ever bought, blah, blah, blah. blah. You know, it's like hear things like that. Well, my my sister, uh, she got she got burnt of a by she bought the orga or organic green cooking pan. Or green. Or green. She bought the organic pan from the infomercial and and it was only non-stick for like the first two or three days. After that, everything stuck to it. <laughs> well, that's odd. Yeah, they but a lot of there's a lot of uh, and the lady up the street got a, a hole in a hose. Oh, the, the they have a new garden hose now that that's made well, of us. Uh, the shrinks always real small and yeah. When you, when you do 
turn the water on. It expands. Yeah. It's a special yeah. material. It's like it's soft. And it, yeah, and it expands. And, and she, she bought it, and there's a hole in it. <laughs> there's a hole in it. Yeah. Oh, that's just a defect. Then he'll replace that. That's the, the that's defect. She, she, she could replace that. She yeah, they'll yes. replace that. If it does what it says, yeah. it doesn't really expand. It doesn't re really get small. Yeah. The water's turned off. I'm curious how it works. But, but, but with Orgreenic, the commercial shows that you don't need cooking oil in it and <clears throat> food slides out. <laughs> uh, no. That's kind of hard to believe anyway, because food cooks better with oil anyway. Yeah. Just butter a little bit of butter, yeah. a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Well, the makes, that's the Greek secret, secret diet is olive oil where they fry eggs. And what have yeah, you. the best the the best cookware to me is the old fashioned cast iron, in my opinion. That's what all the uh, greatest chefs claim. Yeah, but uh, old, I remember I said to you weeks yeah. ago, in many ways, the old ways are best. Yeah. Well, I told my Some sister can't be replaced. No, you can't replace it. Uh, surgical stainless steel in, 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 a, in a really good chef's pan. Another excellent, right. another excellent pan. But uh, I like cast iron. And uh, but you people at home, when you get cast iron, or if you get a, a wok, an Asian wok, which is usually galvanized steel of different qualities, you have to dry it on the flame. You you cannot towel dry it. You have to dry it on the flame, otherwise it gets rusty. That's the only oh, thing. No kidding. When you do it with a towel, you, no, it's not enough to get to get the moisture out. Um, and and well, you know, well, be quiet. Uh, it pours a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the moisture r r will rust it out, and um, and if to season it, all you have to do, I'll, I'll give you a little tip. Instead of following the seasoning instructions with the pan, where they want you to put it in the oven and smear it with with fat and put it in the oven and bake it. All you have to do is cook bacon every day in the in the pan for the first week, and it automatically gets black and it, and it seasons. Mm. Why don't you also one of these uh, uh, Asian markets? I think the one over in Little Ferry. Yeah. You bought for your mom. Very inexpensive stove top grill or something. He said it's phenomenal. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, the cookware. My, my mother has, uh, I got her a, a stir-fry pan from Korea that's, it's made of some kind of composite. It's like uh, charcoal gray with speckles on it. This pan is several years old and there's, and it's non-stick and there's not one chip or scratch. How much did you pay for that? It, it was, uh, it was $20. It, it's, it's a large, it was, it's the largest well, they have different sizes, and they have skillets. They have different right. size so skillets. Where we go, right? Yeah, uh, H Mart, and and the, this is the largest stir fry pot, which you can do so much with it, really. Uh, and you know what, Billy? The older it gets, the better it gets, and not one scratch. Where all the teeth, all the teeth fouls, and the Teflon, and the Silverstone pans that my 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 sister got my mother. Every one of them got scratched very well, su very quickly. You mentioned you know I'm a cancer survivor with bladder cancer. Yes, that's true. Uh, and I mentioned to my my uh, oncologists, my doctors, could this have come from the coatings in the frying pans I've used over the decades? And I noticed little pieces, chunks, scrapings, what have you, coming off. They Did are you? not good materials. I said to the doctors, could ingesting those over the decades possibly have caused the cancer? They said, you know, nobody's ever brought that up. That's very, very possible. Yeah, but possible. I'm glad you brought that up because I, I watched a program that explained that the nonstick coating that that's got, comes off the pan, once it enters your body, it yeah. usually it usually lingers in your body for seven that's years. Right. Yeah. That's right. It does not leave in your first bowel move. Seven it years. Fans or anything, but it does not just come to screen itself out immediately. It does not. This, this is. Can, it can it usually and possibly is cancer causing. Yes, this is why it's carcinogenic. This is why I take, I drink detoxification herbal teas, and I take the spirulina because which has a lot of chlorophyll. I think we detox, talk, detox is a, carcinogenic, or whatever, and uh, not just the coatings, which are very. Yeah. You know, just like Dr. Say if you overcook a steak or a hamburger when it's charred, that can cause cancer. 
Y yeah, if you burn, if you burn meat, like, uh, like, Dr. Garino believes in it, and I do also. The detox is extremely important part of to a part. It, it's, hold on, Billy. Extremely important part of today's health is detoxification. Body needs it. That's cleansed. That's right. Absolutely. Well, look, Billy. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, real quickly, you know, a lot of people love calf or steer, liver in restaurants or whatever. But you, by the same people, we have to watch how much of that you eat because a liver in an animal, as in a human, is a filter. It's like it's like an oil filter in a car. Filter or not, you're eating a filter that has filtered chemicals for how many years? Mm. And you're eating that organ that has been a filter and it contains those chemicals. It's been filtering. If yes. The liver is okay. Don't do it too often. Yeah, well, it's like it's like it's like the oil filter in a car. Sure. You have, you have or a gas filter or air filter. Pieces and things that are left behind and grabbed by that filter. That's right. You know, you organ. You're adjusting that. Well, uh, a, a friend of mine in China, she uh, she told me she got so sick from making the soup from uh, from pork. Uh, kidneys, and uh, she says it stunk like hell. And I told her, I first question out of my mouth is, do you, did you soak the uh, pork uh, uh, kidneys in salt water overnight? And she said, no, I, I, I made the soup immediately. I says, don't you realize the kill the, the the kidney of the pig, just like any kidney, filters is a, is a form of filter also. Filter, what are blood? That's exactly what it is. Yeah, I mean, it's filtering out the carcinogenic carbon, whatever. Right, garbage, it garbage. Uh, and then it goes into the bladder. Junk, and it's holding it in there, cream or not, it's still in there. You're ingesting it. Yeah, I, you know, organ meats. I'm not a fan of organ meats, but if you're if you're a po folk, and you have to eat it, salt it down heavy with either kosher salt or sea salt. And put it in brine. Put it in a heavy brine and let it soak overnight before you prepare it. You know. Basically, the ashes hopefully eat away a lot of the toxins. Yeah. There. Well, natural salt is is a great purifier. You know, of, of meats that that needs to be purified. You know. Well, look at the health benefits along those lines of like inexpensive, <clears throat> but healthful vinegars. Yeah. Apple cider vinegar, apple organic. Cider vinegar. I mean, my God. It's Books are written about that. Organic right. apple cider vinegar with the mother of the vinegar, or the cloudy vinegar. Now, Dr. Bill told me a, a great um, a home remedy for an asthma attack is to put a, like a teaspoon of sea salt in water, something like that, and drink sea salt water will stop an asthma attack. Just plain water, not filtered or a purified No, no, filtered. Yeah, you know, no, not tap water. No, you because you, 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 you're going to drink this. And you put like a teaspoon of sea salt in it. Wow! I've and never heard that. yeah, well, well, cayenne pepper stops a heart attack. Mm. There's a lot of evidence. Cayenne pepper is very good. It kills bacteria. It's a number of properties. They said ca cayenne pepper is one of the top most medicinal herbs known to man. Period. It's like up on top. And I, I grow cayenne pepper now at home. It's very, very beneficial. Oh, without a doubt, and loaded with uh, vitamin C and, and natural beta beta carotene. Well, look how beneficial the human being yogurt is, especially Greek yogurt. Yeah, not the not. Yes, I not. Everything. Well, I think you know this too. You and Dr. Bill both know that everything like in life, basically, in the human body flows through the intestines. So, yeah, yeah the small intestines. Well, not not the Dan and yogurt uh, that's uh, bug, bug, uh, that's yeah, colored with uh, beetles. Colored with beetles. Yeah, uh, Billy was telling me that the the Dan and yogurt, uh, the Dan and company, used to make their I guess their raspberry yogurt look prettier. They used a a dye, a coloring from beetles. Round up beetles. Yeah, there's so many. What about beet? Beets. The beets provide uh, the same coloring. Do they have to use beetles? No, the beets are wonderful. I know that they use beetles and and. Uh, Gentlemen, it's that time. Yes. Okay. It
it is that time, and thank you for joining us for progressive discussions. Thank you for having me, both of you, Dr. Yes. Bill, Jimmy. I'll talk to you both later on. Yes, this is William H. Morrow the third, our voiceover artist. And uh, I, I, I hope uh, that guy calls you back from that big I New Jersey. We will that, see what happens. That big New Jersey station that you called. Okay. That's right. Thank you. you. Have a nice evening to everyone. Yes. Okay? Bye bye. All right, guys. You take care. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying try to explain him that. Um, um, for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I get you. Okay, we're we're gonna take a a little short belated break. Okay, because today was a little difficult. You know, we had a Dr. Bill had an early visitor, and he ate early, and you know, so what? We kind of have to take eight, yeah. Eight late. Eight late. Eight late. Eight late. Eight late. Eight late. No, you ate earlier. Late. How could you eat late if 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 you you ate? I ate way at before 12 after 12 oh you ate breakfast so you had breakfast and lunch you had a brunch with dinner you had br you had breakfast lunch and dinner combined yeah. oh okay and that, yeah. that that totally discombobulated you i am totally discombobulated discombobulated okay well we'll take a short break